Hi guys, today I will be doing my nails and I'm going to use this cuticle mover to use on my cuticles and push back the cuticles and remove the dead skin. And that's what I'm doing on this pic on this picture on this video. You just this is how I do it at least. You don't have to do the same thing. I'm just doing this, putting it into my cuticles letting it soak for like a few seconds. And then I'm taking this little tool. <laughs> I realized I was doing it too early. <laughs> That's why I stopped. Anyways, um, I'm taking this little tool to push them back. And with that same tool, I am scraping off whatever little dead skin I have. And I don't have much because I try to keep up with manicures and like cuticle care and all that. Because it literally makes the nails look so much cleaner when your cuticles are cleaned up and, like, you know, cut and everything. So I'm just pushing them back, as you can see. And here I am filing down the nails to remove any shine before we start placing the tips, the clear tips. And you want to do that so that the glue sticks on. I mean, the glue applies good, and and I'm just doing the same thing, filing down to get all that shine off, because you got to prep the nail good so that the nail tips stick good, and I'm going to use the KDS glue. This is, like, one of the best glues I've tried. And the McCart um, clear half-cover nails. And as you see, I'm just putting glue on my finger now, and sticking the tip on i had them laid out already like i do that beforehand like i measure to see which tips fit my fingernails so that it like um speeds up the process a little bit and yeah i'm just doing that here I'm just showing how the nails came out after I glued them on with the KDS glue. Now I'm taking my Model 1's file and I'm filing down everything. Trying to, bl I like blending the tip to my natural nail as much as I can if you understand what I mean. And I'm just, um, what is it called? Filing down the nails to the length that I want and to the shape I want. I do this beforehand. Before placing the acrylic, and then after I place the acrylic, I refile, like, the shape to, like, you know, make it nice and crisp. Because, yeah. And you see? I did that. That's the shape I wanted. I'm using the My Secret. It's like a pink acrylic powder. I like this one. And I'm using um the Model One's uh, brush. I think it's a number 14, if I'm correct. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll link it. Either way, I'll link it so you guys can see what I use. And I'm using my monomer. Uh, I use a Mor Morovan, Moravin. I don't know. Someone recommended it to me, and I like it. It's pretty good. I just got it like, like a week or two ago. I usually use a Maya Secret. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm placing a bead on my um nail my nail bed, and I'm just blending it down, packing it on. I don't want to say packing it on because I don't like thick nails, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Just like pressing it down making sure it's all neat and i'm just doing that blending it to the sides everything i like pressing it down more so than like rubbing it down like making the like brush strokes i'd rather like press it down and yeah i'm just repeating that and <laughs> this is what i'm doing for like the next few seconds just doing the same thing it's so like what is it satisfying to see the bead once you put um a monomer and then you put the acrylic powder the bead just looks so satisfying and yeah i'm just doing that
And here I am just showing the finished product after I applied the acrylic to my nails. Now I'm going to take my Model 1's file and I'm going to reshape them, make them nice and crisp and clean. And yeah, I'm just filing them to the shape that I want and the length that I want, making sure there's all the correct length. And then I'm taking my drill and I am smoothing it out, making sure everything's, you know, not bumpy, everything's smooth. And yeah. I am picking out colors and applying the base coat and the base coat is like really important and I picked out red and pink because I want to do like Valentine's colors if you get what I mean and I'm just applying that base coat to each of my nails and then I'm gonna cure it under my lamp for 60 seconds and I use the model a model one's lamp I, I'm gonna link everything so yeah just be patient with me and yeah, I'm just carrying it. I'm just debating like what colors I want if I want to add more colors you know and so I like I said I'm doing red and pink and I did like a really glittery pink and I wanted to do like Valentine's Day colors since you know Valentine's Day is like literally in like a week or two I want to say and I was asking Carlos what he thinks and he was helping me pick colors and stuff <laughs> And yeah, I don't know. Picking out colors is like one of the hardest things for me. I'd be like, what do I want to do? And here we're just picking out colors, deciding. And yeah, that's basically it. After I just cured it again for 60 seconds and I did add rhinestones. Well, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I enjoy making these videos truly.